everybody to uh, to our first hotel in uh, in Latin America and Mexico, and we are very proud today actually to be be launching our property here. Our partners who own the hotel, which is the Shapur family, uh, really uh, have been friends and we've done many things together over the last uh, probably five or six years and we currently have uh, three hotels together uh, we opened Miami Miami Beach and this is our second hotel that we're opening together and then we are opening a hotel in Chicago next year so it's a very exciting time for us um, you know what, what what's very important to us is our partners naturally and the Shapours uh, through RCD Hotels has been uh, very instrumental in following our vision for what Nobu Hotels is all about. Uh, since we have already two, uh, two restaurants in Mexico City, we have been there for over 10 years and uh, we are doing very well. I know the Mexican uh, uh, clientele likes Nobu's uh, food. Uh, Bob, uh, as you know, you know him as an actor, but he's also, he is also a visionary. Uh, and he is the one that um, actually came up with the idea, why don't we, uh, you know, do our own hotels. All these hotels were asking us to go into them. And we were saying, well, then why don't we just do it ourselves? And then we were lucky enough to, to enlist uh, Trevor and Struan. And that's how it started. Uh, Los Cabos. For me, it's a lot of potentials for the features. A company that now has 42 restaurants worldwide, as well as uh, we have 18 hotels that are currently in the pipeline. We've opened 10 hotels. Uh, Cabo was our ninth hotel. So, so we're very proud of, uh, of what we've accomplished as a company. Um, I mean, Nobu today was really built on the foundations of providing a very uh, exciting food and beverage experience. Uh, I think 25 years ago, Nobu-san was a game changer in the business and, and then what's important for us is that the brand has sustained itself over the last 25 years. So, so we, we made the decision probably 10 years ago to move into hotels and you know our, our Footplate now has really grown and each of the hotels that we've done really um, have been done from a blank canvas. I mean, we, we try to bring in a lot of the Nobu touch points, but at the same time, we like to bring in a lot of the local materials and everything that really creates what the, the resort is about or the hotel is about in whatever city we're in. But I think the one advantage that we have is that we have Nobu's great cooking. Uh, that is a real, a real plus for, uh, and of course the service and all the other things are very, very uh, important. But the food is, uh, to me, uh, the, the most important. It's a hard to eat people's makes people happy to the guest. This is uh, my simple concept, a simple philosophy. Going forward as a brand, we are now uh, opening another four hotels next year. Uh, it will be in London. Uh, we'll be, we've just opened a hotel in Barcelona and we'll do a formal opening next year. And then we'll also be going into, into Warsaw and, and into Chicago. One of, the, one of the main reasons why we try and differentiate our hotels is really about the food and beverage experience as well. Um, you know, if you look at the resort, we have the Nobu restaurant, we have the Malibu farm, and we're also trying to introduce a few more food and beverage outlets as well. So food and beverage is, a, is really our legacy and we're trying to build on that and we are trying to put that within you know, an important ingredient within our hotels. As far as the food is concerned, our food is um, um, not only tastes good, but it also feels good and it's healthy. healthy. And, uh, and, and that's one of the reasons why <coughs> we have uh, a lot of customers that come to eat at Novo more than once a week. When we look at a destination, we say, does it, does it fit the brand? Does it fit, um, 
what we're about. Is there, is there a opportunity to connect with the local population? And that means about connecting our restaurant to the local population because that is a key part of what we are, and that's our legacy. Our legacy is that we built a company from, from, from a restaurant organization, uh, and now we've built a brand from that. And, and so every destination we go into, it has to work from first of all, first of all, from an economic standpoint, but also at the same time, it has to work from a restaurant perspective. Studio PCH was 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 has worked with WATG. Uh, Studio PCH was, was the interior designer, but WATG um, was the architect of the property, and you know they spent a lot of time with with us. Uh, talking about the design and, and bringing in certain aspects of what Nobu is and, and also the, the Japanese uh, architecture as well and blending it with, would say, some of the local uh, aspects as well. I think it's not just about doing big hotels or small hotels. We want to do something special. And Barbuda is an island that, that, that Bob is very passionate about. It's, uh, I've been working on it a long time. It's, a, it's an island about 30 miles northwest of uh, Antigua, part of Antigua. And I've been, it's a great island, and, and uh, so I've been working on doing a, a, a Nobu, simply a Nobu kind of beach club situation. We're trying to curate it in a very special way. It's about 400 acres on the beach, it's a beautiful spot. We started within the United States, within our hotels, then we've moved now into Europe. Um, and we did one hotel in Manila, which was very opportunistic. Uh, but we want to do things very carefully. We went into Canada and we just did a, uh, hot well, we're doing a hotel in Toronto, which has a residence component. Uh, when we do a hotel, we concentrate on service as well, because that's, I would say, the most important. People stay at hotels have to be makes feel comfortable, like a home. 